morning. It is half past 12 on Tuesday. I'm sat in front of my Mac ready to get started on the Eurovision reactions that need doing. I've got three lined up to do and possibly a Miley Cyrus, but I think I'll probably miss the boat on that one. Um, I've just been going through my comments like you do and it's just so unfortunate that people like to or whether they like to or not, they do it, to point out my teeth. So I've had one that said, I need an orthodontist, um, which has no relevance on the reaction whatsoever. Uh, and another one said that they couldn't understand what I was saying because of my accent and my dodgy teeth. <sighs> Do you know, it still surprises me that people have to be so personal and so rude how the way my teeth look should have absolutely no bearing on the reaction, the, you know, review I'm actually giving. It's so annoying. Anyway, yesterday I was in the shop. It was okay. It didn't rain, so it was a good day. Uh, got a bit of crochet done at the end of the day. I did orders in the morning, quite a few customers in. So overall, yesterday was pretty good. I also taught singing last night and did a uh, reading. My brain went then. Uh, and that went very well. There was supposed to be two readings, but I didn't hear back from one, a lady called Claire. So I don't know what happened there because it was a rebook because she couldn't make the first one. So I booked it in again and then nothing. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, today I'm doing the videos. I've already had a house inspection, one of the glorious things to have done when you rent a house. Woo! And literally all they do is check that the carbon monoxide works, uh, carbon monoxide um, alarm and also the fire alarms work that's it it's not even an inspection it's a safety check they should really change the name so that's happened um i'm taking edward to the vet later i really don't want to go oh it's such a faff um but yeah i've got that to do i've also got a, a lesson today i don't normally teach on tuesdays but i've not heard from them either i don't know what's going on uh, and I think, fingers crossed, I've got tonight off. I hope. If I do teach, it'll be half five, half six, and then I'll have the evening off. That'll be great, because I want to carry on with my latest crochet uh, and just relax, because my head feels a little bit fuzzy today. A bit fuzzy. i tell you what I'd really like to do as well. I'd like to go to um, Eastern Court and have some Chinese buffet, because uh, that's always a nice thing to do. It makes me feel... Uh, that's Alfie, uh, close to LA. Um, but I've got to get these videos done first, so I guess we'll see how far I get. Eastern Court, the a la carte buffet restaurant. Um, I decided to come out and have some food. I didn't feel like filming. I have to be in a certain frame of mind to jump into feeling a filming, filming, and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I edited some music, uh, some singing that one of Ooping, singing that one of my students sent me instead, um, and just some general admins list phone with stuff that had been sold from the shop. So I did that on the websites as well. But it doesn't feel the same today. It makes me sad. It just doesn't feel the same. I don't know how it works when, you know, it's a time goes by and you still really miss a person. 
Anyway, it just didn't feel the same today. I normally have you no know, bit of comfort by coming here knowing that this was a place that me and Ellie used to meet. But it just seems so, so long ago now. It isn't, but it just feels like that. It feels weird. It just doesn't feel the same. So I think, uh, I don't think I'll be bothering coming again. Unless today was just a one-off, but I just didn't, I don't know. I ate the food and the food was nice, but I don't know. I just didn't feel it. <sighs> Onwards. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. It is five past 12. I'm in the car. I've just taken some post to the uh, post office. Well, it's technically like a local shop, but they have like a post office in it. Um, so I've done that and I'm heading off for Alex. I'm late. Oh, Alfie had me up at four in the morning. So I was up for three hours. I probably stayed up longer than I needed to. I got crocheting, went back to bed, slept in. So I was supposed to be with Alex at 12, but I'm not, it'll be half past. Um, I shouldn't really be doing the post. The reason why I shouldn't is I booked all of them to be collected by Royal Mail yesterday. And did they collect them all? Oh no, no. They would only take two. It's very frustrating. It seems to keep happening. When I book them on the Royal Mail website, that seems to be fine. But if you book them via eBay and even do the request collection bit, they don't collect them. It's so annoying. If I know they're just not going to collect, I won't even waste my time putting down collection because collection is more money. <sighs> so I've dropped them all off now. I'm off to meet Alex. We're off to Spoons for a change instead of Nando's. Uh, and I've got a bit of wool that I want to get from the market stall upstairs. Um, and then this afternoon I'm going to rush back, maybe get some filming done if I've got time. I do really need to do it. I didn't do it yesterday. But, oh! And then, hang on. And then I've got a crystal live tonight in the shop. So I've got a fair amount to do. Tomorrow I'm in the shop, no teaching. Uh, tomorrow night I normally teach, but there was only one left because everybody was doing other things. So I've moved the last one. Uh, so literally this weekend, it's shop Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No other appointments. Um, although I was supposed to be at the orthodontist tomorrow. But um, I can't do it because Liz is, um, I've forgotten what Liz is doing. I can't do it anyway, so I'm going to have to rebook that for another day. Uh, and that's as far as I've got. I him a couple of weeks ago and we had been good laugh together. And he was such a lovely, lovely person and a great, great broadcaster. And I can't believe that I'm not going to see him again. It's, it's amazing. I'm talking to you almost here as a, as a radio technician, Tony, but he was somebody who... He was very innovative, but he never mm. went out of fashion. And that's the interesting thing about him, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And he, he sort of brought the zoo format into this country. Uh, uh, like me, he loved American radio, loved jingles. In fact, when we met one another, uh, always, we used to, we didn't say hello, we used to just sing jingles to one another. <laughs> I'd say, uh, hello, Steve, how are you? He'd say, Tony Blackburn, more music. <laughs> but he was... He did bring the zoo format over this country from the States. And uh, so he was, and he was a very good interviewer as well. Yeah, I should, for some reason, I, and 12's a thing. I know 12's a thing. We always meet at 12, but my brain wasn't working. So hand cream, because that fabulous hand cream I've got in the car, I want to have it in the house, because I've run out in the house. And for this um, blanket I'm doing, I need a bit more cream for the gaps around the rainbow colours I've got. A what? A beauty sponge. Okay. Okay. So we're here, Barnsley, on our way to Weatherspoons. Right, so we're in Spoons, we're having a good gossip about next week. And because we're going to Buxton next week, we're deciding on what day we're doing what thing. Uh, 
we're going to the pool cavern on the Saturday, the Sunday, because it's a spa hotel, we're going to enjoy the spa hotel. Uh, we're doing all that, ordered the food, completely real, didn't realise my food's not in it. We both put it on, because I passed it to Alex, and then I wasn't impressed to add to the uh, order, so I've had to order mine again. Well, not again, but separately. Hello, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, um, when did the Avon lady, she had this stall next to me in Wakefield. So we're in Superdrug now, we're getting a beauty sponge, apparently. Look at that spot, it's getting massive, <laughs> look, look. Did you see mine without makeup on? Oh, what's going off there? I'm loving these testers here, the two. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I'm just going to stick a, a tea on it. If they've got it, I'll get it here. It's the Nivea little one. That's the one. I've seen it before, so I know it looks like Let's get that, shall we? Oh, you want one? It's very nice. I like it a lot. It stays a lot longer than that. So these are That's a nice colour. I like that. But is it too thick for what I'm doing? Because I need the super double one. Yeah, it's too big. I may have bought too much wool. <laughs> Got some wool while I was in Barnsley. I got some cream, got a really nice rainbow one, got some yellow. Um, yeah, well, it makes me happy, why not? And it's not like I'm spending a fortune on the wool. I spent like £12 today at the most, and I got uh, one, two, three, four, quite a few bits of wool anyway. And they were really good value. Uh, Barnsley Market has one of the best selections of wool in the area, so why the heck not? Uh, so it's now, if my computer will tell me, five past four, I'm back home again, looking like my mum, because this is my mum's shirt, and I've just discovered there's a hole in it down here, quite a big hole, it looks like an Alfie pull, but um, I'm not throwing it away, this is my mum's shirt, I'm going to keep it, that's him in the background, uh, he's playing with uh, Edward. Um, so yeah, I've had a really good lunch time with Alex. It was really good, very positive. We plan out uh, our trip to Buxton next week. Uh, the food took ages, but it was quite busy. It's half term, so I guess it's one of those things. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of work now. Oh, hello, Edward. I'm gonna do a bit of work now, and uh, yeah, I've been listening to. I've been listening a lot to Radio 2 today um, at the sad passing of Steve Wright this week uh, and I've listened to Steve Wright for years uh, and I kind of grew up with him really. Always been on the radio every time I used to pick up the kids from school, he was playing when I was in the car uh, and it just, you know, uh, it's such a sad thing and uh, Radio 2 have done fantastically well, all these tribute shows and it's uh yeah it's been really nice to be part of listening to that so yeah sad news uh that steve wright has passed away but he'll always be part of my my radio and i'm gonna look for a wool winder because i think that would really help me i've pulled out some of this stuff that i've got over here because i'm gonna reuse the wool and it took me ages rolling it around my hand so i'm gonna get a wool roller thing i expect you can get them on ebay or wherever um so i'm going to sign off early today because i've got the crystal live tonight uh, and i want to put the vlog out before it rather than after it so thank you so much for watching i'll be back on sunday with the next vlog and uh, i appreciate all the support you give me uh take care of yourselves bye bye loves mm -hmm.